Hello, welcome to Movies with Mom. I'm Elizabeth, I'm a mom, and I like to watch movies. But since having kids, my perspective has changed a lot. There's a lot of things that I can handle and a lot of things I can't handle anymore. So tonight, I'm going to be watching Rocky 2. I watched uh, the first Rocky and I loved it. So I'm very excited. Please consider liking, subscribing, and check out our Patreon. So grab a seat and join me. Let's get to it. The MGM logo makes me think of the Wizard of Oz. Comment below what the MGM logo makes you think of. Okay, somebody let me know that it... Rocky 2 starts where Rocky 1 left off. Oh, we gotta see this again. <laughs> I appreciate all the comments uh, from the last video that let me know about um, how they open the nasal passages and mouth guard stuff. That's really interesting. It's amazing they have any energy left to throw those punches. That's so sweet. He just wants Adrian. Go ahead in. Where are they now? Is it the same director? Oh, it's directed by Stallone this time. That's cool. I don't see any. What you did was a miracle. You're the luckiest man on the face of the earth. I want you to know that. Nobody goes the distance with me. Get up out of that chair, chump, and let's finish this fight right now. Is he serious? Does that mean there'll be a rematch? I said any place, any time. He said no rematches. Look, Chump, any place, any time. Rocky, a rematch could be worth millions. This is the man I want to fight. I'm going to show you how lucky you are. You're going to fight me again, Chump. Come back here. Don't run out on me. Come no, maybe you better go home with Paulie and get some sleep. Wait a minute. Get some sleep, you know? I love you. I love you. It hurts my nose. I ain't never really... Oh, I hope they don't show anything. Yours. How's your face, Rock? No, how's it look? I wouldn't want it. <laughs> Okay, I got a little favor I'd like to ask you. How are we feeling tonight? Oh, very handsome. <laughs> My kid would die for your autograph. Uh, hands are so sore. That's okay. You can do it anyway. My good friend Charlie Flynn. I don't even know. <laughs> you Apollo? He wanted to make sure it was a fair fight, right? Not going easy on him. This coming here, you know, Rocky. Hi, Pete. You all right? How you doing, Pete? Hey, could, could you sign my head? Yeah, sign my head? Open the brain. Got that head. I want to talk to you a little bit about this here. Just see what? I'll sign it, but I, I got to go somewhere now. Where, where, where you going? What could well, be more important than I, this? I guess you're getting so sore and all that, you know? I'm just laying there. I... What are we doing here at the zoo? Uh, you know. I kind of like this, you know, it kinda smells clean and everything like that, you know? Tigers? You, like you know, I was wondering, like, 
What do you think you'd do over like the next uh, 40 or 50 years? What do you mean? I was wondering if uh, you wouldn't mind marrying me very much. What he proposed say? at the zoo. If you wouldn't mind marrying me too much. I'd like to marry you. Yay! Yeah? Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. You want a trunk? You can get out for the weekend. I'll send you an invitation, Mr. Tiger. <laughs> That's fantastic, it is. Adriana Pennino. Volete prendere a Rocky Balboa? Voi presente? Thanks. Io ti Thanks. Sposo e sposa. I'm going to kiss the bride now. Oh, thanks, Father. You've done real good. I'm proud of you. Okay. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh, I think Rocky's probably my favorite character. Cinematic character. All right, see you around, Mick. Thanks for coming. We'll go drink now. Hey, good for us. How much money are you making in the last five years? I mean, how much money did you quit after? Hey, Tony, I just got married in here. You know, and I'm happy for you. How's about investing in condominiums? It's safe. I never used to. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, it's like the whole threshold of New York just carrying her. Oh no, 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 not New York. Philadelphia, right? Sorry. Uh, you know, I just got a little marriage, you know. Right. Congratulations. Oh, they're like the neighborhood jukebox, you know, those guys are singing all the time. <laughs> First time I've seen you, I says to myself, even though this girl is suffering from the disease of being shy, she's the best girl in Philly, you know? Aww. Oh, yeah, I said that. Can we go back to the fact that he proposed by saying, what are you doing for the next 40 or 50 years? That is the greatest line. You're the best thing ever coming to my crazy life. You know that? We're all adults here. We get it. So you really don't need a car. Oh, come on, Adrian. You know, I'm going to be doing commercials now. I can afford this. You know how to drive. I'm one of the greats. Are you kidding? Come on, I'll drive you. <laughs> <laughs> look at this here. Tell me that wouldn't look great on you, huh? Is that great? I look at this black thing here with a tiger on the back. You like animals? I love animals. Black, I like black. I think that would be Is money yeah, burning a hole in his too. pocket? I'll tell you what, I want to get one for Paulie, too, okay? So we'll take these. Nice house. I'd like to have some nice house in general, wouldn't you? These bricks are very nicely done here. Look There's the tiger solid. jacket. Nice he mailbox. got it. Nice house. Really nice. Hey, Adrian. Do you have a couple for me? Upstairs and down. Yeah. This whole house is... Everything is going to start being very easy. Uh, the bank says it will give us a $16,000 first mortgage at 9.5%. All right, we'll take the house. And it's better not leak or else. When you stand over there, I got to talk secretly with sure, your wife. Sure, <laughs> You call yourself the champ. You're a fake. The fight was a fake. Go kill yourself. Wouldn't you rather play with the children than read hate mail? You're disgrace to your people. Why can't you ignore it? Come on, man, man. So Rocky's having a good time, living life. But the other guy is dwelling. Hey, come on, I'm ready. Can't move on. I love that he's wearing a dog collar on his wrist. Yes. Oh, Adrian, you did it! I think oh, I know what that yeah. means. He just has a positive yeah, outlook on everything in life, doesn't he? Like you. No, 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 like you. Yo, Adrian, we did it. Listen, the reason we didn't call you a couple of months ago is we wanted to wait till the swelling went down. And they didn't want to make a Rocky doll. You understand? You can kick it, you can beat it. Oh, I love The best. Fabulous. Different. Different. Sensational. <laughs> Come on, let's get it on, huh? Listen to the wife. How do I look? I look stupid, don't I? Yes. <laughs> got deal. Beast after shave, take one. Action. And it makes me smeal mainly. Smeal mainly? Uh, cut. Can you read that, Rock? It really don't smell man. I mean, do you think this stuff smells like a man? Action. 
In the morning, it's a beast. Cut! Action! In the afternoon. Cut! We're cutting this set. We're going to the alternate set. New deal. I, I can get it, you know. It's... You don't mind. We've only wasted four hours. Arthur, uh -huh. Well, they aren't very nice, are they? Arthur, step out. Oh. Speed. Beast after right. shave the can. They say I'm the American dream, but not because I do it over again. Keep it rolling. Just read it off the dummy cards. Dummy cards? Please. I got what you call, like, I don't know, a relaxed brain, but I ain't punchy, you know? Well, you're a rude guy. I'm trying very hard, and you're being rude. That's bad manners, ain't it, Adrian? Be doing this in front of my wife. You want to quit? Then quit. By God, fellas, grab your rifles. I don't like that, director. Cover, cover. Being a good reader is going to help me get a good office job, you know? Thank you. You lie nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And how far did you go? Do you have a criminal record? Nothing worth bragging about. Would you be interested in some sort of manual labor? Why don't you fight? I've read somewhere you're a very good fighter. Was you ever punched in the face 500 times a night? You know, it stings after a while. You know. Well, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. See, he's so polite. You gotta be realistic. You got no high school diploma, but no qualifications. Wouldn't you be more content with a good paying menial labor job? No. We need the money now, Buckus. I thought we could. The only job I got is slugging me. When can I start? Well, how about tomorrow? The things men do to provide for their families. Is commendable. Uh, it's the best looking thing I've seen all day. I hope he doesn't lose his spirit in that job. Hey, you got more stories in the He's getting good at driving. Oh, there's my fellow Lorraine. This ain't that boy. You want to buy this car, you know? You got problems at home? You need bread? No, no. Everything's okay. Okay. Here you go. You bought yourself a car. Good car, you know. Got to buckle up for safety and all that. I got canned today. What happened? You know, it was economics. What are you going to do? Think about fighting. You know, the doctor said you shouldn't fight anymore. Honest, I see green. I see like a beagle or something like that. Rocky, you gave me your word you wouldn't fight anymore. I mean, if we need money, I could get a job. But I'm the one who's supposed to support. It's just for a little while. Is that hard you for guys, for spouses to hear when their other spouse kind of has to pick up slack? Maybe you're right. Like, is that like a gut punch? You know what's best? I like big dogs. My dream dog would be a German Shepherd. Who the hell is that? Avon Lady. Avon Lady. Come on up here. What a prodigal son returning. That buck is my largest dog. What's that in your ear there? Look, can I have my locker back? Here, what's on your mind? Boy. <laughs> Look here, will you? Now tell me. I see it. Nothing. Creed would have caved in the whole side of your face. You got the heart, but you ain't got the tools no more. Now forget it. Mm. Well, maybe it's you who ain't got it no more. You know that? Huh? You didn't even see that coming, did you? What do you, th what do you think the champ would do to you? If I can't fight no more, you know, maybe I can help out around here, you know? It's really hard to watch him struggle, not because he made it to the top but because he's just a good person and you don't want to see him you know kind of at rock bottom 
So if I want a lot more pressure put on for rematch. There's a lot of people out there accusing me of having a fight fixed, accusing me of being a fake and insulting my kids at school. That's why. Now he's all finished. I mean, he's been hanging around doing nothing for six months. Forget this bum. Man, I won, but I didn't beat him. I saw you beat that man. Like I never saw no man get beat before. I kept coming after you. I don't need that kind of man in my life. Is that resilience? Rocky is resilient. Look, you're in charge of my public relations, right? I want a whole new campaign started. I want something done to jar this man's pride. I want. All but right. what can jar Rocky's pride? He doesn't seem Look, to be man, very easily humiliated. He's just very positive about everything. This will be interesting. How are they going to get him to come out? Hey, we should hire. He smiles. Does it bother him? I went to a kickboxing class tonight. I did. Rocky inspired me. It's hard. Hey, can't you think of anything tougher to say than who? back and work on the docks. Get some fresh air. It stinks in here. Remember that guy, Rock? Yo! Come on, Rock. It's just part time. You need the money. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. That ain't Would it be friend. considered poetry with the right back here again? Only on the other side? Because they're married. The way home and maybe you'll laugh. A lot of cows wear belts. But the horns don't work. I really used to like it in third grade. I used to break everything. In third grade. <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. It was the L.A. Rams, but growing up, it was the St. Louis Rams for me. And now they're back in L.A. again. Look, I know a lot of people out there want to see me in a rematch with a timid fellow who calls himself the Italian Stout. He's scared. You know it, and I know it. I'm ready to have a rematch to prove that this lucky club fighter, and that's what he was, lucky. Everyone wants to see them back in the ring together, but there's only one problem. Where is Rocky But he's Balboa? not a coward. I'm Brad Musburger. Holy bum! It was supposed to be a fight. You gave that up. You don't have to prove anything. I want you to do it. Don't ask me to stop being a man. Mm. Let me provide the only way I know how. Thought so. I think we ought to knock his block off. <laughs> Is she concerned because of his eyes? Rocky, what do you think about the fight taking place in the spectrum? I'm very happy about that. This time you all will see the real Apollo Creed. The whole world's going to see the real Apollo Creed. Rocky, 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 do you think you have a chance this time against Apollo? I don't know. He looks pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> On Thanksgiving, in front of this man's home crowd, I'm going to drop him like a bad habit. So it's like the same yeah, calendar year, like correct? Anything uh, derogatory to say about the champ? Yeah. He's great. How about some comedy shots, Apollo? Yeah. Does this look like a circus to you, man? It's very much like good guy, bad guy, huh? But you mind. See how smooth he moves there? This style's too easy to figure out. To pull this miracle off, you gotta learn to be a right-handed fighter. No, I can't learn how to fight right-handed no more. There ain't no chance. There's no chance. Start fighting right-handed, and then it change suddenly, and that'll make history. Speed's what we need. We need. Greasy, fast speed. What do I got to chase a chicken for? It's embarrassing, you know? Get him. Come on, what's the matter with you? Get him. Pick him up. Stand it still with some beef, beef. Can't you catch your little chicken? What's the matter with you? Maybe I just like need to get a chicken. Kentucky Fried Idiot. A Kentucky Fried Wait, Idiot. Hey, Mick, I want to use my other arm. If you do, I'm going to chop it off. Is that clear? <laughs> I'll figure so. 500 high ones go. What was I, seven or eight? Okay, so my question is, I had commented on how Rocky, like, not that he doesn't have pride, but he doesn't let other people sway him by cutting him down in that way. You could see him getting bothered 
by the newspaper and stuff. But it was actually, it seems like it was Mick that was more bothered by it. And his pride and, I guess, ego a little bit got the best of him. So where he was like, all right, Rocky, we're doing this now. That's just my observation. Maybe I misunderstood. And that was my thought. You see the difference in training. The pro, right? Who's got the money. What does this shirt say? Something stallion? I missed it. Is there going to be a conflict where she's going to like go into labor while he's fighting? Hey, you sick kid? What's the matter with you? No. What are you waiting for? What? I don't know. Come on, my sister got you so guilty you're running all over the place. She'll be all right. I like Polly better in this one. Is it because now he's doing more of what he wants to do? But he seems to be more chill and friendly and... Puppies! What the hell are you doing? Uh, what? About messing up that guy over there? Hey, what? See these squirrels? Huh? Did I teach you how to do that? Did I speak well, too soon? When he needs your help? I can't believe my ears. He's gonna get hurt because of you. Don't say that! I'm saying, come across and tell him it's all right. Can I love him? Get out! What are you doing? You got a ticker, brother. Maybe you're right. Maybe I ain't got it no more. You hear that? Go away. Go back to the docks where you belong. Brock, they want you across the street. What's the matter? Your wife's sick. Uh, the baby is fine, even though it's a month premature. What is it? It's a boy. Oh, where is AJ? She's had complications. Oh no. And the sudden loss of blood has caused her to slip into a coma. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna put that on himself too. It sounds like you're very sick, but I, I want to believe that. I believe you're just tired. No. Don't worry about nothing. You just sleep as long as you want, okay? Okay. You gotta stay together. He won't even see his baby. Visiting hours are over. Don't tell him that. Stay, I'll be quiet. Stupid rules. I can't do any more. He's watching the stuff. Mm -hmm. It's at 3 a.m., kid. You know, I'm sorry for both of you. Well, Rocky, you got a, a, another shot. That's what I say. Fight this guy hard, like you've done before. That was beautiful. But don't lay down in front of him like this. He's gonna kick your face in pieces. This guy just don't wanna win, you know. He wants to bury you, he wants to humiliate you. If he said you are one time lucky bum, I think you're a hell of a lot more than that, kid. But, uh, now wait a minute, if you wanna blow it, I'll stay with you. On the one hand, how could he fight when his wife is in the coma? But on the other hand, I'm sure he wants to be doing something. Keep listening. After breakfast, Bruce watched the party get a I like that mix there too. Towards Marvel. Wow. He really meant it when he said that he was gonna do the whole thing with him. You like it? I was really you kept trying to slip, so I think that was our first date. And I you know, want you to know where we would go: Atlantic City or in the snow. Is she gonna wake up? Okay, now bring in the baby. I knew you would come back. No, I don't need, I ain't drinking now. No, come on, I was waiting I to see him together. 
Hey, the kid's a winner. He's got four arms like you, Mickey. Hey. Look at all that hair. One thing I want you to do for me. What? Come here. Win. Oh. Win. What Yay! are we waiting for? Take this. He needed the wife's go ahead. And now he's ready. Okay, I have a dumb question. Was Sylvester Stallone a boxer too? Like even as just a hobby. I mean, he is a good actor. I just mean, he's psyching me out. Get the chicken. That baby, all that hair, that's incredible. All my babies were bald. Here's the theme. I love all the support. All the kids running with him. Oh, look at that other kid. <laughs> the contrast. He's alone, whereas Rocky's got so much support. Is it the eve of the fight? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bill Baldwin speaking to you okay. from the magnificent... Well, and for those of you who are watching tonight's telecast, we're going to see a real great battle. There's a cute little awesome. baby again. Doc, Girls love you. Men, women, old people love you. Young Bess, you're the man. You are in the night. Joy move, you are in the night. Good luck. Good luck. That incredible performance 10 months ago. And you know, he took a real beating at the hands of the champion. Is he going to church first? Father Carmine! Hey, Father Carmine, you home? And I was wondering, you know, if you could throw down a blessing so that if I get beat up tonight, you know, it won't be too bad, you know? Could you do something like that? Thanks a lot, Father. Listen, I appreciate it. I gotta go. I'm so late. I'll see you at church. I hope. Take care. I love. Rocky's faith. Oh, you're in. You lost your brain or something. We gotta... Get it. Go on, get it. Get it. Go on, get it. Go on, get it. He's off. I think okay, I would argue right, that the stakes are higher for Rocky this time because now he's doing yeah, this to, to support his oh, family. Whereas before it was just him. has gained such popularity is such a mystery. Because he's a good person. People are for you, Rock. I appreciate it. Are you ready in here? I think so. Yeah. You're going down, man. You're going down. Don't let it bother you, kid. Championship of the world. 15 rounds. He said 45 minutes, though. So are they three minute rounds? Did I do the math right? I like the black and gold. Watch your low punches and watch your kidney punches. In case of a knockdown, you go to the corner, I tell you to. Going down. And no matter what happens, don't go back to fighting Southpaw till I tell you that you get through this first round and he's ours. And the champion comes over in a hurry now. I close a couple of 
much left out there. Rocky's holding that right hand back. He's fighting right-handed. I don't believe it. The South Park Philly is fighting right-handed. A lot of shots to the face. Forget them, Jim! Let's take that out! I'm not commenting much again. It's too intense. Good round. Good round. I can't believe it. I broke my nose again. Nothing bothers you? Nothing bothers me. That guy's great. No, no, listen. He's only a man. Round two. The champion comes back out. He's leading across again. Coming around now. Just holding that right hand. He's got a cock. He's just waiting. <laughs> Talking smack in the middle of a fight. <laughs> Get back in the corner. Do the refs ever accidentally take a punch? So he hasn't gone back to Southpaw yet, right? Another round for the champion. Come on, Rocky. Now stick and move. He's going to go for the knockout. He's going to go for the knockout. I know what I'm doing. Hey, Rock, you get in trouble one more time, I'm with Southpaw. He's just done nothing. Now you got three minutes. Now switch now to Southpaw anyway, will you? No tricks, I ain't switching. Yes, I don't need no tricks. All right, all right. Go I ain't switching. Right. He's ready, believe me. You're going down. No. No way. Now, the champion is beating back yeah. in the corner. No! Oh, just nearly floored the champ. Yeah. He doesn't know where he is. It's blinded. No friends with him. Come on, Rocky. Oh, my gosh. This is so intense. My baby wakes up. <laughs> Are underrated maybe or are they just 
old enough that people don't talk about it as much. I don't know. I think it's it should be more in the forefront. I think it's pretty mainstream. Is it? Okay. Maybe it's just because I'm a girl. I just don't hear about it as much. <laughs> like I don't I don't have any complaints. I think it's a pretty flawless film. In the first one, he's just a single guy, you know, like his decisions really don't affect anybody but himself. But in this one, he wants to be a good husband and he wants to support his family, even though he has a lot to offer in terms of work ethic and willingness, he's overlooked because, you know, as they say, he doesn't have really the education background. And so I think his arc is trying to figure out how to provide and be the man that he wants to be for his wife and child. I feel like Mick, Mickey had a little bit of a bigger role in this, right? He did, and his, there, there was a small point when his pride got the best of him, and that's, it seems, launched Rocky into this next fight with Apollo Creed. You see him going from this, okay, we gotta, you know, shut his mouth, we've gotta take him on again, and really show him that you can go to the distance. But then when Adrian was in a coma, he let it all out that you've got to do this, you should do this, but if you're not going to do this, then I'm going to be here with you not doing this. And he was true to his word, and you see each scene, he's with Rocky in the chapel, then with Rocky in the room with Adrian, and back and forth and back and forth. And so it was almost like, okay, I'm not his boxing coach right now. It's almost like he was like a life coach, a life support, which was just really cool. Creed, at first he was like, there's no rematch and stuff, but then he wanted one mm -hmm. and he, he called him out by calling him a coward and chicken. You had a comment about how he's like, you see, you're seeing the good guy versus bad guy. Is Creed really a bad guy? So he confuses me a little bit because I think it goes back to maybe ego and pride and he couldn't just accept that, you know, all the people saying that, you know, it was a draw or that the result wasn't fair. And then you see him during like the press conferences and everything really just, just not being a super kind opponent at all. But then at the end, when he loses, he doesn't become this like whiny egotistical you know sore loser you know you even see him him you know brush Rocky's hair which is attaboy type response and so I don't think he's a bad guy I think he's just like an opponent that likes to talk smack and you know but or, or maybe he's just a gracious loser like he recognized that it was a really good fair fight and he lost and he graciously accepted that loss which makes him a really good sport i liked different things about each i don't really know if i could pick a favorite because i really liked the newness of Rocky and Adrian and their relationship. But then it was also really cool to see their marriage. I think they're a good model of what a marriage should be. It's a lot of give and take and supporting each other. And sometimes a marriage is letting your spouse do something even if you struggle with that, you know? So like Adrian didn't really want him to fight again because she didn't want him to get hurt and, you know he was at risk because of his eye but she also in the end recognized that he needed that yeah it's too late I'm losing my train of thought also their baby is really cute